Հենց էդ բարդին է ուղությամբ նրիվ սենց սահմանա։ Դեղից միջև ստեղ հասնում է։ Ստեղ հասնում ալա ավել մի քանի տարի առաջ ասկորկեքի սենց խպել է պատուհանի։ Բաներ, կրակում են, որ գիտենք պետք հակարակ են բանդեղ Armenian villages in the Tavush region bordering Azerbaijan rarely have access to clean water. For those 24 villages, water is a precious commodity. Some get irrigation and or drinking water every three to four days, and sometimes even once a month. This despite the fact that agriculture and cattle breeding make up the majority of economic activity in the region. Elmira and Armena Kalaverdian, residents of Bahani's village and parents of three children, have to deal with the lack of clean drinking water every day. Hello, it's Hamal Khantira. It's some books. I'm asking which one to choose. I like to make a jury order. Kisel and jury. I think jury gets in me or entails gets in me or. It's mixed. It's a marva season. I'm checking. Andre, I'm jury. It's half month, half from Bochka. And they tell the time in Bali, but no one. For Shushana, who lives in a higher altitude part of the village, access water is an even bigger struggle. Depending on the location of the houses, some almost never get water. Ստիպված էլ իստեղից այի հարևանի դրնից ենք բերում։ Հակի մարդավ ոտ են մավոր ջուրջ ունենք էր եղեք հոցարավ չեն մնա։ Սանգմաս մա ջուրը գալիս արի վերցր։ Ինչև երբ կարանք ես ձև շառնակ ենք ես չգիտեմ։ The water supply has been a concern in the region for many years, but the problem has been exacerbated by the conflict with Azerbaijan over Armenian populated enclave of Nagorno-Karabakh. Shared water reservoirs between the countries were closed off due to the war. This left the residents of Davush with very limited access to water. Higher global temperatures adds to the diminishing water resources in Armenia. Բաղանիսում աղպյուրները բնական են, այսինքը արտեզյան հորջի, ստորգետնիա, պոմպականներ չկա։ Եվ մեր ջրի կանակը կախված է տեղումների կանակից։ Իշպես գիտենք վերջին երկու տարիներին տեղումները շատ սակա� while access to clean drinking water is the main issue in Baranis, 253 kilometers away in Mafsa's village, irrigation water is the most pressing problem. Mafsa's village is home to 1,725 residents and its main industry is cattle breeding and agriculture. Thus, irrigation water is a crucial resource for them. According to Artak Papian, mayor of Mavsis, the village faces two hurdles that prevent sufficient water distribution. First, the 14 km pipeline that is meant to circulate the water is too old and needs to be replaced. Second, there is an untapped water spring that remains unused due to insufficient funding to extract the water. <laughs> բայց հիմնականում երեկ որը մեկ, չորս որը մեկ, ունցոր ունակչությունը ապահովում ենք ջրով, ներքյով գետահոսում ադրբեջան, նրանք են որոք մետ մեր ջրով, իզ մենք չենք կարովան, որ հետև ջրագիտ չունենք, շատ անգամ The International Committee of the Red Cross, with its global mandate to protect and assist people affected by conflict, addresses some of the primary concerns of people living in the area. During the past eight years, they have constructed water catchments, pipelines, dividing hatches and collection reservoirs in ten border communities. We have been working on this and we have been working on this and we have been working on this. 
Edward Mesropian, water expert and founder of Jinj, an engineering and consulting organization, says that it is up to the government to tackle the issue by conducting preliminary research. Uh, On the government's end, these issues are handled by the Water Committee, which is part of Armenia's Ministry of Energy, Infrastructure and Natural Resources. We contacted them to ask what their strategy are for tackling the water issues in bordering villages. Margarit Sarksyan, the press officer of the Water Committee, said that they are currently implementing projects to increase access to water in the bordering communities. She added that this year, 30 grants have been allocated to various provinces for irrigation and drinking water. <laughs> Can you like it? Can you like it? Can you like it?